popular and enduring weapon-based fighting series strikes once again with Soul Calibur V, returning to its increasingly implausible stage of history for flashy weapon-based combat and wild character customization. It's blatantly obvious that the soul still burns, but is the flame being kept alive by more than just name recognition and marketing muscle? The glint of blades flickers in the forest shadows. <laughs> Your mother's murderer, sister's abductor, stands before you. Set 17 years after the fourth installment, Soul Calibur V tells the tale of various men and women who fight to serve or oppose the will of two legendary sentient swords. New face Patroclo steps up to take the lead, making the journey from naive puppet to snarky guy who no longer wants to be a naive puppet, with his sister Pyrrha providing the dramatic impetus to spur his actions. Well, well, Pyrrha, not bad! Selecting the important-sounding Story 1607 AD mode from the main menu lets you alternate between fighting battles under the flimsiest justifications and passively taking in disappointingly plain hand-drawn stills with voiceover. There are a few lavishly produced cutscenes sprinkled here and there, but most of the cast is ignored, and there's a broad failure to inspire any emotion for the characters that are featured. Both the tale being told and the story mode itself are decidedly underdone. Please, go away! <laughs> Care to dance with me? While the story mode is underwhelming, Soul Calibur V nonetheless includes substantial amounts of extra content. To this end, the series' character creation feature returns with more equipment and the ability to change your height and tweak individual body parts. You'll unlock new items and sometimes new characters at a fairly consistent rate, giving you the tools to make a wide range of visually interesting characters. There's a lot of variety in terms of aesthetics and fighting styles, but the opportunities available for the resultant spate of custom warriors are generally limited to endless fighting without much variation. Whether you're playing versus matches, arcade mode, legendary souls mode, or quick battle, which simulates arcade-style throwdowns with a huge pool of customized opponents, the procedure is pretty much the same, slash, smash, and win. Compared to the recent feature-rich Mortal Kombat and even past Soul Calibur games, which feature single-player diversions that departed at least a bit from the standard gameplay, SC5 feels a bit lacking. My head! It hurts! Fortunately, the game is able to make amends to a great extent by delivering impressive online play. The occasional lag is a fact of life with any online fighting game, but fights here feel smoother and more stable than average. Players hanging out in a lobby can easily search for ranked or unranked matches, or download replays to check out potential opponents. A type of hangout feature called Global Coliseo is meant to provide a looser environment to hang out and pick up matches with players from your part of the world, although it remains to be seen if this will be adopted and used by the online community in any meaningful way. Regardless, it's clear that the online element has received its due attention. <laughs> I'll teach you to behave. Feeling just a little bit faster in this installment, the fighting in Soul Calibur V still requires you to memorize the most useful techniques and combos from your character's move list, inevitably gleaned from the unwieldy but info-rich training mode, and apply them to your opponent at the correct time. Fights are about controlling space, catching sidestepping characters with horizontal attacks, applying pressure with quick strikes, and delivering power attacks when the time is right. Justice will prevail! The addition of a super meter, a mechanic featured in countless 2D fighters, adds a dimension that was previously absent. This allows the player to execute counterattacks, power up certain moves, or unleash a singular powerful attack which can do big damage. While it's much better than the poorly conceived and nearly useless critical finish system seen in Soul Calibur 4, it functions more as a flashy additional surface layer, rather than a fundamental change to how the game plays. I'm sorry. I have no choice. But even with the addition of super moves and some difficult, unwieldy commands that require you to hit more buttons faster than ever, Soul Calibur still gives players great visual payback for button mashing, and appropriate rewards for actually learning the moves. The ability to quickly snatch a victory via ring out or even unintentionally propel yourself out of the arena is just as amusing as ever. Whether you're playing seriously or just fooling around in a casual or party setting, the game remains enjoyable. Oh god, I'm alive! Soul Calibur fans will appreciate having new elements to discover, but there's still a lot that will be very familiar. Despite the new faces, including original characters like Patroclo's Viola and the well-integrated crossover character Ezio from Assassin's Creed, there aren't really that many new fighting styles to be seen. Disciples of retired characters like Shiba and Natsu clearly owe the vast majority of their techniques to their masters, and most of the secret characters are blank slates without their own moves or modified clones from other absentees. There's still an appreciable amount of variety within the roster, but despite the tweaked gameplay and 17-year time warp, 
it's clear that Soul Calibur V is an incremental improvement rather than any sort of rebirth. Do not delude yourself, thou wretched fool! Your punishment will be quite severe! Soul Calibur has steadily moved toward more flash and more ornamentation, and even as some of the more ridiculous costumes have been reined in, the march toward continual embellishment continues here, as the once down and dirty lizard man becomes the horned and winged meta reptile known as Aeon Kelkos. Still, while the animations look so sharp and deadly that you'd imagine each character to be dead many times over by the time a single round has ended, the game overall seems to be gradually aging. Don't feel bad about it. You couldn't have prevailed. Perhaps it's a compromise to provide flexibility to the character creation feature, but characters lack the detail and expression to feel truly alive. Where games like Street Fighter have moved to make combatants seem as if they've leapt from the pages of a highly stylized comic book, the fighters here have clearly just stepped out of a 3D modeling program. Fortunately, the sweeping soundtrack and unmistakable narrator do their best to sell the drama and emotion with gratifyingly exaggerated pomp. The moon shines brightly on the ugly scars of man. <laughs> You're a good fighter, but I'm a superb one! Soul Calibur V enjoys its triumphs, most notably the strong online element, as well as its shortfalls, such as the flat story and relative dearth of extra content. In spite of its mostly positive gameplay tweaks, though, it's in no real danger of reinventing the wheel. That's okay with us. In this fifth installment, Soul Calibur is as easy to enjoy as it ever was, and it brings with it enough new stuff to more than justify its existence. The tools of insanity illuminate amongst the flames.